live from Book Expo America 2014 in New York City, and our guest right now is author Lori Foster, who's here to talk about her upcoming August title, No Limits, which is book one in her ultimate series for Harlequin HQN. Hey, Lori, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Jane. No Limits is a reunion story, right? And yes. it's about a mixed martial arts fighter and the woman who got away. Now, previously, your heroes have been involved in some aspect of law enforcement. What made you pick mixed martial arts? The previous series was law enforcement, but I uh, wrote a series back a while ago that was mixed martial arts, and I'm a huge fan of the UFC and Pride before it shut down, and um, I actually go to local venues to see amateur fighters, so I'm a big fan of the sport. And um, it just seemed like it would be a good way to mix the two, you know, super alpha protective guy and a sport that I love and that I feel like I know enough about to write. In No Limits, we finally get Cannon's story, and he was a character we met previously in your Love Undercover series, as he said. And to say that he's a tough guy is a huge understatement. What would you say are the qualities that make him a true hero? Uh, well, he's extremely loyal, which almost all of my characters are. You know, some you don't realize it till later on, but from the get-go, you realize that Cannon is an extremely loyal person. And he's a tough guy, but in a defender role. So he would never be a bully. He would never pick on anybody. In fact, he sort of sets himself up as like a vigilante for the neighborhood to protect those who can't protect themselves from extortion and other things that have happened in his neighborhood, kind of trying to clean it up single-handedly. But then you find out in the series with some help from his friends. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's one of those really, really sexy alpha good guys who's always got um, the, the right idea in mind for what he's doing. The ebook prequel is Hard Knocks, and that goes on sale August the 4th. No Limits releases at the end of August, and then you're following that up with Holding Strong and a third book in 2015. Other than canon, how are the other books in the Ultimate series connected? Well, Cannon has a local rec center that is sort of a gym where the more experienced fighters go to work out, and then also more amateur guys can go, they, they pay to be there to work out with the more experienced fighters. And then they also have youth programs where they bring in younger kids. And this is actually modeled after several gyms that I went and interviewed, and I kind of mix them all together to create Cannon's Rec Center. And so all of the fighters that will appear in the next few books all go to that rec center. So even though it ties loosely to the series that was before this, um, the Love Undercover series, I mean, you still see like Lieutenant Margaret Peterson and and uh, they hang out in Rowdy's Bar sometime, which was in Getting Rowdy. But a lot more of it takes place in the rec center now. So that's basically how they're tied together. It's fighters from that rec center. And readers get to revisit some of their favorite characters from the previous series. Yes. So like right now, it, it's uh, Gage's story is the prequel. And then Cannon is the next story. And I'm writing Denver Lewis's story right now. And after that, we'll be Stack Hannigan. And the last will be Army Jacobson. Awesome. So your stories usually feature the hero in a protector role. Why do you enjoy writing this type of character? Um, well, I guess because I married a guy like that, maybe. And we've been married for, I think, 36 years. I hope he's not listening because I'm bad at remembering how many years it's been. He's a much better mathematical person than I am. But um, that was one of the things that first attracted me to him. And just throughout life, men and women alike. I like people who are more protective. I hate that whole bully mentality. have never liked it. I've never liked the attitude that boys will be boys, because I'm raising, I raise boys. I'm not raising them anymore, they're grown. It's a done job mostly. But uh, I always wanted them to be kind, and I wanted them to see if someone else was in trouble and not necessarily put themselves at risk. But in this day and age, you can dial 911 without putting yourself at risk. So you, I always really, really admired the attitude. You know, there are some people that will see a tragedy. I'm one of them. And they go dumbfounded and they stand there and they don't know what to do. And then there's the person that will jump in and immediately try to help. And that's the guys that I like to write about. And that's actually who my husband is. He's that type of person. How many books in total in your career now? Oh, gosh, I should always count this somehow. But with all the reissues and stuff, it's hard. I'm thinking like 80-some, but I'm not sure. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. It's, it's been fun. What are you working on after this series is done? You're so prolific. After this series, well, I, I'm still just kind of focused on this series. <laughs> I do my benefit book every year, and I do that for the Buckhorn Brothers. And that's where I write a book a year where all the proceeds go to a charity. Uh, generally, for, for uh, the Buckhorn series that I'm doing, I'm, ex I'm expanding that. Uh, and those books, the, the charity is the Animal Adoption Foundation, which is a no-kill animal shelter. So the contract is actually written up for those books where 
I, I, I sign the contract and then everything else is dealt with with the charity and the money goes directly to them for the life of the book. So the advance and all royalties go directly to them. That's wonderful. So I always have those in mind that are coming out next. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today, Lori, and I wish you all the best with the Ultimate Series. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was good to see you again.